Hi, Terry Gillespie here. I'm so excited you're here. This is episode four of Book Reviews, and I am so excited to talk about While the Rain Whispered by award-winning author, indie author, Kim Williams. Now, this is the third and final book in the Letters to Layton series, and the first was Among the Crepe Myrtles, and then the second one was When the Butterflies Dance. And I'll tell you what, um, Kim con continued consistent, beautiful writing and beautiful storytelling into this third installment. So I'd like to read the review that I wrote. Um, oh, also, the genre is historical fiction or romance historical, depending on, on uh, how they label things in the book market. So here's the review. Life is simply one generation fading while another takes its first breath. Isn't that beautiful? And so the final book of the Letters to Layton, While the Rain Whispered, begins. Little Clara Williams, daughter of Ben and Catherine Williams, has grown into a lovely young woman with a creative imagination that has caused her to write charming children's book, but has also caused a yearning to leave the confines of her rural Texas town. Like a balloon longing to soar, the ribbons that hold her to the town are her family and the handsome, hard-working auto mechanic, Wallace James. Wallace, whose fascination with those spunky little Clara has grown into love for the young woman she has become. Clara has an opportunity to see a publisher and explore the wonders of Austin, Texas, and like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz, leaves her hometown in a whirlwind of emotions. The town greets her with many delights, including lasagna and the handsome Andrew Slayton. Kim Williams has continued the family saga of the Williams with elegant prose prose like writing. She engaged me from page to fit page with lines like, Wallace would still want to hear every word that Clara had pulled from her mind, formed into sentences, and tucked between the beginning and an end. Readers of romance and history will love this final book of the Letters to Layton trilogy. Be prepared to savor the beautiful writing like a warm cup of cocoa sitting by the fire. And of special note, Kim Williams finally reveals the true story behind the fictionalized one in her author notes. What a bittersweet treat for those of us who have come to love these characters. I highly recommend this book. I gave it a five-star rating. And another note. Uh, my author highlight for February will be Kim Williams, and that means that you're going to get to know her even more, and I'll be interviewing her in on um, the YouTube series, Author Highlight. And yes, she will be giving a book away. You can purchase Kim's book at her webs on her website, which you get them all just wrapped so special and autographed and um, fun little things and in, tucked inside of them on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, and on Bookbub. So, just a reminder that my reviews are posted on Amazon, Bookbub, Goodreads, Barnes and Noble and um, also my website. Be sure and subscribe to my website as well as this YouTube channel because subscribers get a special gift of the first chapter of 
book three of the Hair Mavens, Really Bad Hair Day, and a special gift a week later. Please follow or like or friend me on all those fun little icons there, BookBub, Facebook, Twitter, MeWe, Goodreads, and whatever else. And have you subscribed to my YouTube channel? Because subscribers also get special benefits, especially in the giveaways. So watch for future fun things that are coming. Next episode is award-winning Tanya Agler, and I will be reviewing another one of her books, and I will look forward to reading that book and telling you all about it. Thank you so much for stopping by. God bless you. Keep reading. Bye-bye.